Hello folks. So we made it to level 30 actually. I'm not happy about the fickle gill and this nonsense going on. But you know, maybe we can at least get rid of clank. The thing is I don't really have a good thing for the face. So getting that one armor class here is actually not that bad. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm probably not going to be able to get rid of the fungus in this run. I can already tell that I'm that this is not going to be a thing. But that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to go to the spindle now and spread clank around there. And uh, I'm kind of wondering what the diminishing returns are now going to be. Let's kill that fruit fly. Yeah, it's half the experience again. Okay. Yeah. I... Like, if we don't get to another area with higher level enemies and stuff, I doubt that we will level up again. I mean, I don't know what, what happens. What I do believe will happen is that at some point the story is just going to stop. I think they have not finished, like the game is not... The main quest is not yet complete, I think. I'm not really sure. I need to... I actually need to look that up. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see. Also, chances are that we're just going to run into something horrible and we're going to get murdered. <coughs> Which, you know, is also fine. Have a hostile nearby. Let me just go up. Oh, this guy. Okay, like this. No. Still can't. Yeah. Oh, a lot of hostiles nearby. 21 experience for the gibbon. Yeah, good. What am I attacking? Yeah. I don't know what was going on there. Oh yeah, whatever. Let's go to the spindle. Hostiles nearby. Oh dear. There we go. Mmm. Dudes, please. Come on. Ah, too many gibbons. So let's see if I can clear out some stuff here. Hostiles nearby. Hey, you. Oh, yeah. There's one of these guys up here. Let's take it out. Come on. Stun for the turn. Alright. Yeah, there we go. You pass by a banana grove. Oh, we are here. Let's go to the spindle. Let's do Pax Clank. And now we have <laughs> finished all the steps and get all the experience for that, which is nice. Uh, and breaks away. Okay, so now we don't have Clank anymore. The thing is, we don't really have anything. Now we can put the rings to our face, but that doesn't do anything. Um... Yeah, we need a good face thing at some point. Maybe we can find one. If we can't, well... Whatever. <coughs> and this... yeah. This cost us one armor value. Actually, I think I always just had the, the, the sap mask on there, which is kind of strange. Maybe I should... I totally missed that. Maybe I should have put something else there. Yeah! This was definitely not, I definitely did not play an optimal character here. But what do we have to do now? Do we have to... We don't have any quest now. Um, let me see. Let's go back to Gridgate. Here. Let's go to Gridgate. Come on.
transported. All right. Here we are. I mean, let's talk to the dude again, I guess. <coughs> hey, buddy. Um, do I need to go back to Pax Clank and tell him that I... I'm not really sure what the next step is, actually. I convinced Pax Clank to construct the climber. But we haven't really yet, right? Can we learn anything from him? Feathered. Okay, no, that's not it. Oops, I picked up a bunch of nonsense. Oh dear. Yep. Good thing we can identify them pretty easily because it's the bloody ones. And a few empty ones, I guess. Oh yeah, we're actually running lower on water now. Uh. And about a grid gauge recoiler, and you know, we're just going to disassemble them. Why not? <coughs> Hello. <coughs> ah, nuclear cell. Oh, now that we have tinkering, why not? Isn't there another blue guy around? No, there isn't really. Maybe he got killed. That might have happened. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Um, We could go back to the fungus zone. To the heart of the fungus, I guess. Right? <laughs> but... Hmm... Yeah, I guess. Let's do that. I could also look up the wiki or something. Because the quest is now just gone. You know what? I'm just going to look up the wiki. We've come this far. It's going to be, I don't know, the second time in this whole Let's Play that I'm going to do that, but... Of... Yeah. Four ways of your choosing. Yeah, this does not tell us much. <coughs> Let's take a look at quests. Uh, Pax Clank, I presume that was that quest. finish the quest. Oh yeah, we did that. We got the Pax Clan quest. We finished it. But... Hmm. I don't know if there's anything more. Let's see. Quests. What is this? No, that was that. Pax Clank, I presume, Earl of Oman Port, we already did that, ripe for the conflagration, what is this? Travel to the Tomb of the Eaters. Oh yeah, this has re been replaced with the Earl of Oman Port, okay. Um, interesting, so the Tomb of the Eaters had a, once had a purpose, but now it doesn't. Call to Arms. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. Let me see. Sorry about that. This is not good television but uh i actually don't know what to do we could we could try to go back to pax clang and see what happens but um okay road map buttons of cut main quest pax clang i presume I think that's, that might be the end of it. So in the completed few... I'm looking at the roadmap for Caves of God. And the last main quest thing is this. Next leg... Oh, oh yeah. We'll add... Alternate start, two new regions, more interesting true... Yeah. We'll add the next leg of the main quest. Tying in the Sultans of Kurt and the generated histories, and that's going to be about the Tomb of the Eaters. <coughs> I think this is it for the main quest right now in the game. Wow. Okay, good. All right. I guess. Um, what are we going to do now? Is the question. <coughs> I'm just going to try talking to. Bar Barathrum once more. Just for shits and giggles. And other than that, I don't know what we're gonna do. Feels weird. <laughs> Actually. But, uh... <coughs> we could just explore the Tomb of the Eaters, for example. You know, explore a few things. We have a bunch of side quests, random side quests still. I think this is where we got the moat. Uh, yeah, and that's it, my friends. That's kind of it. I mean, the Tomb of the Eaters, there isn't stuff around it, but the Tomb of the Eaters is already there. So, oh wait, I want to do one more thing. I want to, um, how much can, more can we carry? Yeah, we can carry some more. Um, I'm going to pick up some fresh water, like this, just to have a little more. Okay. <coughs> Gosh, okay. Let's get uh -huh. on my right arm. Are you kidding me? Okay, this character might actually... <laughs> I mean, now I have one more armor. That I didn't have before. What did I have on my right arm? Compass bracelet I have on here. Morphical gill. Yeah, this is all. In uh, future runs, we need to find a way to... We definitely need to worry about how to remove stuff you know because uh oh no that was the buckler fuck okay uh equip we're going to equip that on the left arm now <laughs> <coughs> oh this is all terrible well whatever and we're obviously lost again because um I wonder if the Ficker Gill is from our own spores. That would be a thing. I mean, if this character is now going to slowly peter out, that's okay. Forgotten Ruins, so interesting, but we're still lost. Hey, there's a bunch of fresh water in here.
Be a widget and stop moving. A widget is not a reason to stop moving. Fuck off. Come on. Alright. The slumberling falls asleep. And let's kill the slumberling and see how much we get for them. 52 experience for a slumberling. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, now that I've seen kind of, at least in terms of main quest, what there is to be seen so far, uh, I'm actually kind of excited for future updates. You know, for the longest reason, uh, not the reason, for the longest time, updates were just, you know, a lot of things happened at a point in the game where I have never been before and I did not have any frame of reference for it. Now that I've pretty much traveled the whole map in a run and kind of know what what's going on later, um, you know, I, I will have a frame of reference for all the things that might happen in future updates. Oh yeah, I have already regained my bearings, but I didn't notice. <coughs> Let's visit the Dromat caravan. <coughs> Where are you? There you are. <coughs> oh jeez, I'm so... I'm coughing so much, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have some honey. Okay, let's go to the Tomb of the Eaters. Here we are. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go down and see what's going on here. <coughs> but that's really interesting that the Tomb of the Eaters... Oh yeah, we can actually pick those up here and uh, disassemble them. It's interesting that the Tomb of the Eaters had a... had a use, or was used in a quest at some point, but now isn't. Where is the scrap? Hello? Food? Grenades? Meds? Miscellaneous? Missile weapons? Quest items? Tonics? Tools? Trade goods? Am I stupid? Ammo applicators? Armor? Books? Data disk? Energy cells? Food? I picked up all kinds of scrap now and now I don't find it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of um Oh. Counterweight it. I wonder if we can counterweight our thing. <coughs> our Best items, tonics, tools, trade goods, water container. Are you kidding me? I picked up the... Oh, it... Did we... Oh yeah, we, <laughs> we automatically disassembled it. Man, I'm scatterbrained as all hell. Tinkering, mod, counterweighted. Yes, we can actually do that. We need photonics for it. Let's see if we can... Oops. Photonics was... Plus three to hit. I mean, that's kind of nice. Photonics was the yellow six. Nope. 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 So, nope. Food, obviously not. Grenades. You know what? Light source, we cannot disassemble that. Miscellaneous, there's nothing there. Missile weapon. Nah, none of those. Quest items, tonics. Let's take a look at this. Uh, there's no way to get that actually for us right now. Okay. And I have to find some scrap, I guess. <coughs> Yeah, let's go down into the Tomb of the Eaters, I guess. Bent metal shield. Automatically disassemble. Good. Oh, here we go. 
it starts already. Come at me, bro. Bros. Brez. Oh dear. Man, there's a ton of crabs. Yeah, let's murder everything. Why not? And, um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I mean, I'm going to explore this for a bit. But, uh, if nothing else happens, I will just start a new character. I mean, I don't need this character to die to start a new character, you know? We might just do that at some point. Fickle Gill cracked, huh? And, um, you know? Try it with an Esper, for example. <laughs> like, I mean, we, the problem is, once I update, I cannot play this character anymore. That's kind of the thing. I would need to revert back. Oh dear, I'm actually getting hit quite a bit, and I'm frozen solid. And I died! I was killed! Well, what an end. What an anticlimactic end. Interestingly enough, the phase cannon is the most advanced artifact. I'm actually kind of happy with this. Since we got to level 30 and we I kind of finished the Pax Clank thing, I think that was actually it. I think there wasn't much more to it. I, uh, maybe I should have gone back to Pax Clank first. But, um... Yep, this is Clubman. This is the craziest run I've ever had. Final messages. Yeah, the gelatinous frustrum. They can be they can be dangerous. Okay. Good to know. <coughs> okay, I'm kinda I'm really happy with this run. It is that is that was good. That was really good. So twenty-three minutes, I'm going to end I'm going to end the video here. In the next video we're going to make a new character. I, I'm not done playing this game yet, although this is kind of a weird spot to be in. Um, oh, let's see. So, in the road map... Right, completed feature arcs, main quest... Those were things that, that they did in the past, like expanding the main quest. It is, that was the Earl of Omonport, and um, that was main quest Pax Clank, I presume. New areas, the Rainbow Wood, yes, daily weekly challenges, the Sultans, I could actually also do one of those again, I guess. Sultans of Cud. That's the generated histories and all this stuff, yes. Interestingly enough, they do want to actually tie those two things together, the main quest and, uh, yeah. So let's see, coming feature arc arcs, the Sultans of Cud part 2 is probably the next thing. Historic sites called Relic, in part 2 will add more mid to late game historic sites and will tie together the events of the Sultan's lives so you can retrace their path through cut. So that's going to be interesting. Alternate starts will let you unlock new thematic starting locations and levels. That is really... That is really cool. You'll be able to start the game as a level 5 Mechanimus Pilgrim at the 6 day stilt. Okay, traditional way in Joppa, and that's going to be a bit of an extra thing um, in Joppa at level 1 is the way to go. They have more quests open to them and be able to achieve special game endings. Okay, but that's also really cool. <coughs> so, three or four new towns and new side quests, that's cool. Two plus new regions, salt marshes, desert canyons, flower fields, general... We'll add at least two more regions designed for the late game. That is great. Good. Because, um, yeah, we petered out at the end there. Special locations. History books make note of all sorts of special locations. 
Robert King's Monumental Statue and Hagelroot's Tomb. More of these to the world as explorable location. That is good. More interesting Trukin. Okay. Trukin more interesting. In particular, we expand the cybernetic the cybernetic system. I think that is actually in the in the most recent updates that we have not seen during our our way through uh through this with this character. Um this is actually starting to get implemented like the the cybernetic system. That's only ex available to true cane characters, but um, right now with this character, that was only just these four things that you could get. And apparently, if I have... R I have not really gone through the Feature Friday updates, but um, the cybernetic system was a big thing there, so that's getting impl implemented right now. So that's cool. <laughs> At some point, we're probably going to play a true kin again, because, um, yeah, I want to play this character better at some point but uh that's a bit further in the future i want to do some different stuff now main quest the tomb of the eaters the next leg of the main quest tying in the sultans of kurd and their generated histories so that's interesting that's going to be the next thing and there are two more the penultimate leg of the main quest and the final leg of the main quest so there's going to be three more including multiple endings so that's all cool the game is not finishable yet but it's going to come. A brand new UI. Um, full mouse and gamepad support, hotkeys for abilities, paper law equipment screen and much more. Traditional UI will remain available too. I'm, I think I'm going to, if they don't change it up much, I'm going to stick with uh, traditional UI because I don't want to use my mouse. <laughs> I want to play this with the keyboard only. Accessibility and tutorial. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's good for new players. I personally am not all that interested in that, but uh, sound and music, Steam achievement, coloring the lines. For all the systems and features that already exist, we'll continually add more content. New items, monsters, biomes, fungal infections, skill refreshes, tile art, sound effects, and more. Yeah, things are going to remain interesting in the future. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to keep trucking. I think now that I, I might actually... One thing that I might actually do is uh, slightly reduce the frequency now again to like less than four a week. Maybe I'm going to go back to three, maybe to two. Uh, and exp I don't know. Well, let's say three. And I, I think I, I want to play some different games on the channel as well. You know, maybe do another Let's Play on the side or something like that. Case of Cut is going to stay my main thing. But now that I've kind of had this kind of complete run, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to see. Like, whatever I'm going to come up with, I'm going to let you know. I think I'm not going to go below three, actually. So three a week was actually a good, a good thing. And uh, I think I'm going to stay with that. So um, that would mean that I'm going to take out the th the Saturday again. So that we only have, like, you know, what was it? Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, right, I guess. And... Then I'm going to have another Let's Play coming. I'm kind of planning to do something right now. Uh, you know, it's going to be in the vein of the stuff I like to do. Um, and that's going to be like once or twice a week or something like that. We're going to see. In any case, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you stay with me. Like going further into this marvelous fucking game. Bye bye.